that are still in Kaguma camp. And the Kaguma camp for 15 years. Uh, and you can imagine what that would be like every day based on services that are just routine. Very meager services, but nonetheless, very little freedom to uh, express their own skills and, and their own enterprise. And so that's a, that's a needs-based system. So then when they walk back into this system here, there is a sort of service-oriented uh, paradigm that they're still part of. And so what we encourage, and all the people that are working with refugees, is to have a people-centered sort of approach. And that approach means that we're going to explore gifts, we're going to explore their own capacities. And we do this by exploring different things that are part of who they are. And so I have three different categories that I use, head, hands, heart. Why are you sure heart. how to do this if they're not coming here? Amen. Uh, Good question. Yeah. Why? The reason is total education. Why? So, uh, yeah. 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 Why? Why? It's, no. it's just for information and education so we have a better understanding. Understanding is really important. like to express. I have an Iraqi friend who... I to shut the doors and this country's all the trash. We have uh, things of the hand. We have gentlemen shut. Soccer. Various things of crafts and incredible gifts that are expressed by refugees. And then the things of the heart, the things that they're passionate about, whether it's children's education or the environment, whatever it is. And so the whole idea is we move from away from doing to and we do with, and this is a friendship and there's a mutuality to it. So that's the idea of self-sufficiency. They don't do with. They don't assimilate. Experiencing loss, like when your buddies get murdered by one of these people. Would you let them talk, please? They're not talking. Why? We want to Why? listen. You want them? You have them in your house. Keep yeah. Wait them until they're, they're done. Can you do that? Have you you seen the overseas has any of your friends been killed? And then you shut up. see how we can uh, find answers for you later. So the schools are full. <laughs> Let's please be quiet so that everyone can hear the question. And I'll come around and get get more questions. Why can't the person answer? If you don't so, have the answer, that's fine. But read, read all the all. questions. Right. Read them all. Yeah. Let the people read their own question. Yeah. As much as time allows, we will. The schools are full. The school. I will wait now. If you don't have the answer, just say we don't have the answer. We'll read the question. She's trying to. So, ladies and gentlemen, if we're ready for questions and I'm ready to read them.
Six kids in my son's first grade class. No room. Keep them away. We don't want them. There are no refugees coming here, and they are not being added to the school, so I can answer that one. Why are we wasting our time here? I don't know. The purpose of this was to go on ahead and to do a training for those that have asked for a training on how they could help. There were different community members. I don't have a list of names. Was it the mayor? Who cares? Next question. Who takes care of these people after the three or eight months that their assistance runs out? Um, I'll address that by just going over. Uh, just answer the question. Okay, well, the quick answer is that uh, in the short run, there is a, uh, there are resources that are given to re refugees. And that, there's no question about that. that. But if you look at even uh, the short term, and then even the longer term, you will find a net contribution to the tax base. No, no, that's no, the next no, If you look at if you look at the studies that have been done, there is a net contribution by by refugee. That's, and that's just you know, that's, that's there are study after study that can can show that. I could show you some of the data, but I'm just going to give a quick answer on that. What organization is funding your endeavor of refugee relocation? Any Christian organizations? Like I said at the beginning, we are an organization through our local church in Boise, Cole Community. We do not receive any government funding. We do not receive funding for these um, trainings that we do in Boise. They are all free and they are for volunteers. And um, as far as the agencies, that's a different story. The resettlement agencies work with government funding. That would be International Rescue Committee, Agency for New Americans, and CSI and Twin. We do not bring people here. We receive. We welcome them, but we don't do. We don't physically go and say this person gets to come. Are you ready? Does this presentation basically apply or only to refugees or does it also apply to all immigrants? What is the difference? Uh, yeah, refugees are people who have been forced by persecution to cross a border. There's a conflict and they've been forced. There's a variety of reasons that persecution exists. But that's uh, the difference. So uh, an immigrant doesn't have that same definition. A refugee actually has to apply for refugee status. When a refugee uh, first starts out, they're really an asylee because they cross the border without any, any sort of a status. Once they cross that border and register with the UNHCR, the, uh, the High Commissioner for Refugees, uh, then they get refugee status. Otherwise. Uh, if they come for economic reasons, that is for, that's what you would call an immigrant. If they have to get a job in three to eight months, how, how come unemployment was extended to two years? Uh, our citizens often can't find work. I don't understand. So the question really is, uh, if they have to get a job in three to eight months, how come unemployment was extended to two years? Do you know anything about that? It's 
I mean, yeah, that, that may be a case, but you've got to look at the aggregate data. And the aggregate data says that, in fact, there's a contribution to the economy after 18 months, you begin to see positive contributions. No, no, no. If you look at over 25 years, if he's employed, you've got, you've got $77 billion that's being contributed to the U.S. economy as of last year by refugees. No, that is a lie. That is actually a lie. And I can show you the study. That's a lot of yogurt. Erdogan wrote the study. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, if they're not going to be treated well, then I will stop the questions because it's it's not stop it. Yeah. Don't allow questions. I think that's a good idea. Questions. <laughs> the truth so is, there isn't any. There is no rhyme or reason to blue or white card. We can't get jobs in three months as it is. So how can they, unless they have preferential treatment? What? We have all kinds of people that can't get work in six months. This is. Uh, let's see if I can read it right. Daniel and Daniel and friend were POWs. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm I don't think it's a question. Daniel and Corinne were no. POWs. Zeph, Maya, and Ezra were not refugees, but also taken in war. So it's a comment. Can we hear that now? It makes sense. It was a comment about one of the um, uh, people from the Bible. Daniel and friend were POWs. I'm assuming Nehemiah, maybe, or Zephaniah. But he, he, Nehemiah and Ezra were not refugees, but also taken in war. It was a comment. It was not a question. And Christ wasn't a refugee. He was on his way to a census. You should know that if you're Bible teacher. Let her read the question. Just read. Don't shut up. Are these families or military? Military men. Oh, are these families or military men? Thank you. So, the, there are families that come. Generally, it's um, the majority are women and children that actually come as refugees. That's the mass majority. Or complete unit families. Many also, we have um, special um, interest visas. Men who were interpreters in um, Afghanistan and Iraq often also come as SIV visas, but refugees, because they were doing, working alongside our US military, and they also come under the refugee program. Who's working all the way? Are they Syrian, Somali, Iraqi, Iranian, or where are they from? Are they Syrian, Somali, Iranian, Iraqi, or where are they from? I think if we answered that one. Okay, thank you. Uh, where are they? Where are they going to work? We don't have a strong job market. At the mill. And I think they're. I mean, it's not jobs that are going to be here because they're not coming here. So they are going to be trained in various jobs, from what I got from their training there. Uh, are they Muslims? Do they follow Islam? Then why are you here pushing this down our throats? <laughs> uh -huh. oh That's what I want to know. We this don't want to. This standing. was a voluntary <laughs> attended. This was a voluntary attended training that was advertised to go on ahead and to include people that wanted mm -hmm. to be here to see how to go on ahead and to work with refugees. There is no other intention, there is no hidden agenda there. The next question. Are they Muslims? Do they follow Islam? There are some Muslims that come. The majority are actually, if you look at the data, there's two thirds that are Christian that come.
this evening. I thank